we are going to look at some more sequences of numbers and to reiterate this or formalize it a little bit more a number sequence is a set of numbers defined by a rule that is valid for positive integers so we have this rule involving x or n or some variable and it's valid for positive integers that means we're allowed to put positive integers in well that's a simple way of saying this is the domain set of all the inputs positive integers there are different ways to describe a sequence we can just list the terms it's probably the simplest we could use words like we did in the previous video we could use an explicit formula which is the algebraic rule for how we get the terms or we could use a pictorial or graphical representation so I have three figures over here they're made up of toothpicks if you will or small sticks and this would be figure one this is figure two this would be figure three let's use a sequence to describe the number of small sticks it takes to make each one of these figures so the first figure uses three small sticks one two the next figure uses one, two, three, four, five. And we can count in the next one. We have five, six, seven. And we can assume that this pattern might go on forever. And we can use words to say start with three. And then add three. Sorry, not add three. What's going on? What's the pattern here? We're adding two to get each successive term. We could try to come up with an explicit formula, a rule, if you will. And usually we're going to use something like u sub n instead of y, or this is going to be our dependent variable. The subscript, the n, refers to what value, what figure number we're plugging into this rule. And this particular rule. is 1 plus 2n. And that's the explicit formula because if I plug in 1, we have u sub 1 equals 1 plus 2 times 1, which is u. u sub 2 is 1 plus 2 times 2 is 5, and u sub 3, 1 plus 2 times 3, which is 7. So this is our explicit formula. This is just showing that I do get to turn to that sequence. Now we can use a graph also. 1, 2, 3, and since I don't have any more figures in 3, I'm going to stop at 3 on the x-axis of domain again. So up the vertical side, that's representing the term. So figure 1 had 3 small sticks. I can put a point there. Figure 2 had 5 small sticks. And figure three had seven small sticks. And many of you right now are probably really tempted or might have already done so and drawn a line through these points, but you can't with a sequence. With a sequence, the domain is only the positive energy. We can't have figure one and a half. We don't have a figure in between these two. We only 
deal with points at integer, positive integer values. You cannot connect this line. So here's a little bit more notation. We've seen these squiggly brackets maybe with sets. U sub n in these squiggly brackets just tells us that that is going to be the sequence generating generated by that rule. It's inside the squiggly brackets. It is a function. If you go back to our graph, you might recall something called the vertical line test. This passes the vertical line test. Or another way to think about it, there's only one figure that goes along with the stage of this construction. There is a function that takes n and maps it to u sub n for all n that are in an element of the positive integers. So n maps to u sub n, where n is an element of the positive integers. So this notation here, another way to write that would be n maps to 2n plus 1. And we'll work more with this. We'll see it more as we go. Where n is an element of positive integers. And if I start plugging in positive integers, this is 2 times 1 plus 1. 5. That's 2 times 2 plus 1. 2 times 3 plus 1. And you're going to have to take rules like this and go from there to the sequence. 